Yes. When you guys think of spring cleaning, the first thing that doesn't come to your mind is probably good old vodka. Well, unless you're drinking it while you're cleaning. <laughs> then there's that. Scotchy Cocktails are straight up. Right. Right? There you go. There you go. So I have discovered through many lovely articles on the interweb oh, yeah. that vodka can help get things in the house spick and span clean. I thought that was vinegar. Vinegar, vinegar too. But this mm. is an effective deodorizer. So do you guys remember when we did um, Let Me Teach You Something? This was a while uh -huh. back and I showed mm -hmm. you how you can use vodka to, you know, under the arms and stuff like that to deodorize <laughs> your clothes. I don't know, why are you laughing, Big Randy? Because you're this wasting good alcohol. No, we're wasting ahead. good alcohol. Yeah, yeah. So here, remember Jay's good old sweater? We this is this the liner down. from Jay's jacket. Right. So, so that's a fleece. Right. You know, we don't actually I hope he doesn't get pulled over on the way home. Every, that's what we it's going to go upstairs, away. Right? It's going to dry. You won't smell a thing. Officer friendly, so you can do this. watch the show? It's an, all right. So we're not washing our coats every single week or every two weeks. Right. So this is smell a great way to refresh it. And when it dries, it's going to smell very, very clean what and fresh. What does it do? Kill the bacteria that it, creates the odor exactly. or what? Exactly. Vinegar does not do that. Oh. So this time of year also, we've got a lot of sneakers and boots around the house, right. which are kind of funky. I brought sneakers because I didn't want to kill you with my boots, right? So we just spray a couple of that, really? sprays in there, and they'll be so fresh really? and so clean. Absolutely. You clean your, there was a song called So Fresh and So Clean. I know. You caught that reference. <laughs> I did. That's very good. Very Ten good. years ago, better. So, also, when you're cooking on or, or chopping vegetables, even meat on your wood cutting board, you scrub it down with some hot soapy water. Right. You know I'm an extra super clean freak. Then, exactly. Saturate that down. We gotta get it nice and all up in the crevices. Get it in the pores. Get it in the pores, let uh -huh. it dry, uh -huh. and then you know what? Disinfected cutting board. So you don't have to wipe it off. You leave you it? Already, you just leave it yeah. and let it all dry right. there. But now here is the coup de gras in my opinion. Whose fingerprints are those? Those Scott are my Mara. fingerprints. But you know how, look at that filthy, filthy mirror. Go oh look, it. you can see the Don't be shy. In there. So whenever you've got any glass surfaces, I brought this mirror in just to right. illustrate what it can do. Let, you know, mirrors, glass, and you know what happens when you give kids little chicken nuggets? Oh, yeah. thing you do, they tend their yeah. fingerprints all over the place. Just spray, spray it down. Okay. I think it's due to the really high alcohol content. When you wipe it down, it'll be super clean. Here, can you guys help me out? And with no this? streaking? No streaking. Watch How do we do this? this? Watch this. I just don't want this to fall yeah. on live TV. It is taking the fingerprints off like right, right away. away. Right away. Okay. Even the dust. Uh -oh. Even though uh -oh. this is something I've been meaning to reframe, so it was nice and. Is this yours? Yeah, it's mine. You know what? That's doing an amazing job. Look at that. All right, so you know, here's the one thing. I'm serious. I want to try yeah. this. There's no, there's, there's no, no vodka smell. No, there's no smell. Even smell Jay's no coat. Smell? Like there's no, there's no vodka smell. So yeah. while you're having your cocktail, <laughs> I see a couple extra right there. So when you're having your cocktail, wow. like Jason said, he's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Any glass object. You know what I actually did when I was testing this out too. I had some glasses that I washed by hand, mm -hmm. and they had little, uh, you know, water oh, yeah. droplets on them. I just used some of this and cleaned it right off, and everything was sparkly and beautiful. This How do you, what do you do? Do you, like, go home and, like, come up with this stuff? How does it work? <laughs> Sorry. Well, so. no, I don't, but Jay did give me this idea. Jay sent me an article, and I was like, oh, yeah, let's, let's delve deeper into the wonders of vodka. And this is what I came up for you guys. One other bonus I want to throw out there to you. You're cleaning the bathroom. Everything is all clean. You know how your faucets get a little fingerprint? Oh, yeah. Put a little of this on there. Wipe it and down. And this is the pure stuff. Shiny you poured it right out of here, stuff. not watered I down. I did. So you, 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 Mr. Carr, have given the engineering department a whole new idea that they need to walk around. You know, they carry all that stuff. <laughs> right. Like they're, the keys are on the thing. Right, and right. now they're going to have a little bottle, spray bottle Ooh. of vodka. Could it be cheap or expensive? I suggested cheap. Why cheap. not? Right. Yeah. Why you want to use up the good stuff? Hey, there you go. Even Smirnoff won like the vodka championship at like thirteen dollars a fifth or whatever it is. You spend all this money on Grey Goose, but Smirnoff is the one that won won the contest. Very there you interesting. Go. Very all right. Interesting indeed. Do you guys like? You get funk. There's no funk. It cleans your teeth. Yeah, there you go. Next to